George Labisi is set for PSL return. Amazulu aired another Orlando Pirates start to their squad. And then Dan's axed a cheaper. Hey guys, welcome to the Was Another Transfer Show. And let's get into the latest happenings in the PSL. <laughs> Our first story of the episode takes us to Bloemfontein as Mabuhwane signs a new deal. Former Orlando Pirates goalkeeper Jackson Mabuhwane has committed himself to Bloemfontein Celtics with a two-year contract extension. The 32-year-old's contract was due to expire at the end of next season. He's now extended his stay with Punye Selesele until 2025. Bloemfontein are delighted to announce that Jackson Mabuhwane has extended his stay at the club until June 2025 as the journey continues. Our next story takes us to the Chili Boys as Miley Sella sacked by Chippa. Dan Dance has been sent packing by Chippa United. It would appear the last straw was Saturday afternoon's mauling by Maritzburg United, with the team of choice putting five goals past the Chili Boys, pushing Chippa to third from the bottom in the long table. Malisela confirmed the news of his firing and told the Times Live that I'm on a bus on my way to the airport at the moment. Yes, I am leaving Chippa United. According to a close source to the Chili Boys, the club has already submitted another offer to Luke Emil in a fresh bid to lure him to Port Elizabeth the season. Luke Emil has arrived in PE already. They are meeting with Chipper United and they are expected to conclude the deal today. It's just a matter of time before Luke Emil signs on the dotted line and accepts the offer from the Chili Boys. Sticking to the coaching side of things as Dylan Kerr named Chakuma Tivasivandela coach. Daniel Kerr has reportedly signed a contract with TTM and is set to become the new head coach. The former Barocca and Black Leopards boss has been with TTM since February in an advisory role, but now he's set to take the reins subject to his registration. The TTM media liaison told Soka Laduma that I can confirm that Dylan Kerr is our head coach and the contract is signed. We're just trying to register him ASAP. Our next story of the episode takes us to a former Kaiser Chiefs and Mama Lodi Sundown superstar, as Libisi finds new PSL home. George Libisi has found a new PSL home in the Premier Soccer League top flight. The ex Kaiser Chiefs and Mamalodi Sundowns attacker has signed a short term deal with TTM just two weeks after being released from his Colorado Springs switchback deal. So if George Libisi is immediately fit, he will be expected to help TTM in the relegation battle. Although he got his clearance outside of the PSL transfer window, his registration is not expected to be an issue due to the COVID circumstances. Guys, please let me know, do you think George Libisi can still contribute to a PSL side and will he be a success at TTM? From an ex achieves a star we move to a former Orlando Pirates star that has signed for Amazulu. Escabo Kalinge has joined Amazulu as a free agent on a short term deal for the remainder of the season with an option to renew at the end of the term. Kalinge is grateful for the opportunity to get his career back on track having done enough to convince Benny McCarthy that he could be of use. I'm very grateful to the club for granting me a chance to be part of the structure especially the coach. I'm happy here and I hope I can achieve more things and get to put the team where the management and coaches wanted to be. Kalinga was on the books of Super Sports United but an unsuccessful spell led to section 10 being released. Guys please let me know in the comments below could Cabo Kalinga contribute to the project under Benny McCarthy and at Amazulu. Guys this is all we have for the episode please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.